Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to MLS Journeyman with uh, Inter Miami. Now, it's been a couple of games since we were last together, but it's been a very, very good few games. Let's get to the schedule here. You can see the, the game that we last saw was our opening game in uh, the 2021 season versus Colorado. We got the 2-1 win. And in front of 17,000 fans, that was a pretty good opening date. You know, love to see, love to see the fans coming out, especially in a place like Miami, where there's so many other things to do than go to a sporting game. But still, the fans came out. We've only got an 18,000 seat stadium, so to see over 17,000 there is great. And we've actually been averaging over 17,000 in our three home games. So that's outstanding. You know, it's one of my favorite things in the world is a full sports stadium. Like just the crowd is there, they're rocking and rolling, everything is just electric. You know, and on the other side of things, when it's when it's like a half full stadium or even worse than that, it's like it can be kind of depressing in many ways. So I'm glad that we're out there. I'm glad we're getting the support and we're earning that support with our play. We are 4-0 and on the young season, including... Big 3-0 defeat of LA Galaxy. We've, we've honestly been storming our way through the Western Conference. So we haven't even played any of our conference rivals yet in the Eastern Conference. But, uh, you know, we've done very good against the Western Conference. So we got uh, two goals from Carranza and another one from Hector Vialba. So our front line is playing well. You know, our move to put Carranza up top at striker has definitely paid off. He's, he's scoring very well right now. And we put LA Galaxy to bed. And then we did the same thing, even worse, to LAFC. 5-0 against LAFC. Mendez with a pair of goals coming up from the midfield. And then there was a weird own goal by Orlando Osario. Sort of bounced. One of those goals that like bounced around off the goal post, off the goalkeeper, in, that kind of thing. Uh, I, think, I think Osario, what is he? Uh... Is he on the, yeah, he was a defender. Yeah, I think he sort of slide tackled it into his own goal. Jordi Reyna got a goal. Vialba got another goal. So we just, you know, LA just had no shot. I don't know what their deal was. They just didn't come out to play. They made some substitutions. They tried to uh, do something about it. But you look at their players, you know, Vela with a 6.1. Rodriguez, 6.1. Perez, who should be an excellent defender, 6.1. So they just played terribly at home of all places and then we went to vancouver got a lovely one nil vi uh, victory thanks to a pretty cool goal from sander comfort of all people you know we played a bit of a rotated side here we had uh, comfort on the left uh Hederovich, our uh draft pick on the right figuera in there norman was in there you know redding Devera, Abdul Salam. So we had a lot of backups in there. And we managed to eke by Vancouver. It was, uh, you know, not a beautiful game. But we got the victory with our second team. And that's always important. Let's take a look at this goal just to break things up. Maybe. There it is. Okay. It takes a little while to load these goals. It seems like it takes longer than usual. I don't know. It's just one goal. It shouldn't be a long highlight. But here we go. Norman has it. He's going to send it out wide. Carranza drops it back. Hedirovic pumps it across. And then Comfort with the one-timer. Just tippy-toes it into the goal. So, you know, our young players playing well. The guys that we have, you know, sort of bet to be our starters, bet to be, you know, the main players on this team. They've all done very well and let's get to the standings as you can see here we've only played four games and we're still in second place even though we're a game behind or even two games behind montreal um but you know we're winning we're undefeated and today's gonna be a big game we'll look at that in a minute but as you can see atlanta united's playing well orlando city's playing well Cincinnati's doing okay, Philadelphia as well, and then it sort of goes down from there. A lot of teams still in the hunt. I mean, it's it's super early, but the only team that's doing particularly bad 
is DC United. And if I remember, I think they just fired their coach. Uh, let me take a look at the news here. No, it was New England who fired their coach. <laughs> Remy Gard, you're out of here. Five games and out. No, New England's played six. Okay, so they got New England's got one win in six games, and their coach is out. That's cutthroat, man. Brutal. I don't think they've hired a replacement just yet, so we'll see what New England does. But uh, let's see, what else do I want to look at? I want to look at the, I think, the stats real quick. Player stats real quick. Ooh, I don't think we need all that. Here we go. Player stats is all we need. So, Vialba, 7th in goals. I thought we'd have more guys on this list because we have scored quite a few goals. But Vialba's the, the only one up there with three. Philippe coming up from the Segundo Valente position on uh, with two assists. Average rating, though. We're killing the league. Look at that. Vialba, Philippe Mendez, Shaq Moore, trusty on defense. Everybody's up there with you know, more than a 7-0 rating. So we've just been playing super, super well. And uh, not much else to say, really. Let's get to the matches. Let's, let's get right into it. Big uh, Sunday games today. We're on the, the one of the two highlight games. L.A. versus San Jose. L.A. bounced back with a big 3-0 win. Looks like it's the beginning of conference play, or at least I don't think they have like separate, you know, interconference versus conference play, but we're going on a stretch of playing some conference teams here, and we're starting with Orlando City, who you saw was third place in the Eastern Conference currently. They are favored to win this game 6-4 to four at home. It's the Battle of Florida. Sure to be a rivalry game in the future. Um, but so far, uh, Orlando is, has had the better of it. They've got one draw and one win, and we have no wins to speak of. So um, as far as injuries go, Brad Stuver, our reserve goalkeeper, is out. Not much of a problem there. Um, their head coach, Jesus Vera. We have no relation to the 52-year-old Venezuelan, formerly at FC Dallas for three seasons. Before that, looks like, uh, is this the Mexican League or Spanish League? What is this? No, this is something else. This is the Venezuelan League. Okay. So he came up from Venezuela to coach FC Dallas. Is there a connection there? Is there a connection between Dallas and Venezuela? I do not know. But he is a fine coach. Good at uh, judging potential. Another disciplinarian, a lot of disciplinarians in MLS. He's not really a technical or tactical type coach. But uh, I, guess, I guess he does have some tactical knowledge, but not a technical coach, really. He's more of a motivator, a leader of men. We'll see what he can do. Let's get to the team selection. It is 68 and breezy, a little cold in South Florida. What's up with that? Or I guess Orlando's North Florida. Anyway. Uh, we're going to keep doing what we've been doing. we got the starting lineup in there as best we can, I do believe. Make sure we got the right goalkeeper in there. We do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, who was it that was, there was somebody complaining of playing time. Devera. Nick Devera was complaining of playing time. Uh, we gave him one game. Um, you know what? We'll, we'll just alternate him out because Martins has a pretty good uh, partnership with Pellegrini as you can see there so we'll let him sit on the bench for a minute no harm no foul yeah one thing we had to do is we did have to call up a goalkeeper we brought Martinez back the uh, young free agent that we brought in had sent him down to or um, Inter Miami 2 but because of the the injury to Stuver, we had to bring Martins back up. We got uh, Abdul Salam, Shinovsky, Norman, Tran, Stewart, and Mackenzie Gaines on the bench. Starters, it's it's our basic starters: Johnson, Martins, Trusty, Burnbaum, Shaq, Moore, Louis Philippe, Mendez, Pellegrini, Reina, Vialba, Carranza. Meanwhile, Orlando City going with the four four two. They got Rubinho in there. Look out! We got to watch out for him. 26 years old. He's a pretty good player. How's he doing so far in Major League Soccer? Five appearances. 
No goals, no assists. Not a great start to the year. We'll see if we can keep it that way. Let's see. They got Perea as their team captain. Nani still hanging on there, playing left wing. Seven appearances, one goal, one assist. Janssen, Heinz EK, Derek in goal. All right, they got a pretty good squad. We'll see what they can do with it. All right, let's just let's just go. Let's just do our thing. What are your thoughts on Sporting Kansas City? What? Sporting Kansas City fired Precky as well? Wow. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. Get out. Get out. All right, so here we are. Uh... Oh, we're at home. I thought we were away. It's Lockhart Stadium. Okay. I was going to say, it didn't look purple, so there was, there was no purple, so I guess that makes sense. First highlight of the game, six minutes in. Nani has it. He's hard to uh, displace from the ball. Drops it back. See what uh, Orlando's midfielders can do with it. Sends it over the top to Nani. Shaq Moore is there. He's going to clear it up. All right. Can we move it forward? Perhaps. Are they going to pressure us? Trying to, but Shaq Moore plays it calmly to Mendez. Mendez playing that Mazala role. Gets it forward. Carranza around the keeper and scores. Butter. I think he might have been offside. He was close. Video assistant has been called. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see if this defender... No. Super duper offsides. Unless this fullback kept him on. I couldn't see. No. Nope, disallowed. Okay. But yet again, having no trouble scoring in the one-on-ones. You know, something's been a bit of a hot topic lately in FM. They've even... Um, good tackle. Pellegrini came back on the defense. Couldn't quite clear it. Marconi sends it in. Big steal. There's Martins. Just booting it. Hmm. Orlando's trying to put some pressure on, but our defense is holding. Fialba at midfield. Can't win it to anybody. Oh, that should have been a turnover right there. Some sloppy passing by Orlando. Okay, Martins. Good. Good smart header. We got a mega highlight here. Mega highlight warning. Trusty to burn bomb. Let's see if we can do some matriculation here, boys. Fialba's got it. He's got some men rushing forward. He doesn't care. He goes right around his defender. Chips it ahead for Reyna. Reyna. Oh, he just scoots it. Just missed that one. Highlights are never ending, apparently. Janssen, turnover. Shaq Moore just lofts it downfield for Fialba, who's out racing his defender terribly see if he can get it forward can he just go around his man what's he doing no that's that's not good come on come on Vialba you can do better than that maybe he was a little winded at the end of that run I don't know comes Orlando trying to send it downfield good play from Rubino out wide Severino he's oh great cross great defense okay Okay, our defense is holding still. I mean, that was a great squaring of the ball, but our defense was there. I think against a lot of other defenders, that would have been a goal for sure. Shaq Moore with the throw in on the far side. Gets it to Vialba. Come on, boys. Let's get a good chance here. Philippe with the big header. I mean, <laughs> trying a header from the outside of the box, that's uh, that's a bit ambitious, my friend. More highlights. 30 minutes to go. Orlando in their own end. Heinze K has it near sideline. Tries to send it across. Dangerous play, but Miller cleans it up. And Orlando manages to get control at midfield with Nani. Another terrible pass. Not sure what's happening. A lot of, uh, a lot of nerves going on. Sometimes in these rivalry games, players get nervous. They get excited. They try to make big plays instead of just making the smart play. So here we go. Orlando City sends it forward. Pico way offside. Give me a break. Johnson with an easy stop, but that was that was terrible. All right, here we go. Throw in far side. 33 minutes. Again, the highlights are just never ending. Vialba around his man. Can he make the cross this time? Nope, drops it up to Mendez. Mendez tackled. 
Great defense from Orlando. Picot, excellent drop back to Rubinho. Okay, these midfielders for Orlando are pretty talented. Picot on the run. He looked onside there around the goalkeeper. And he scores. Crowd goes silent. Deafeningly silent. Let's see. Let's see this replay. I think our fullback's going to keep him on side. It was sort of close, but not that close. And again, it's another one on one. Let's see if they do the replay here. Yeah, he's on side. So, yeah, another one on one. Um, there was some brouhaha. To the uh, last few days over one on ones. I haven't seen it, honestly. I just. You know, we saw it in the beta a little bit, but we had strikers who were not good goal scorers. And so, like, I, I just chalked it up to that. I just chalked it up to, you know, we had substandard goal scorers. They weren't bad players, they're just not like finishers, you know? So, yeah, they would only score one of every five one on ones, which is fine. Another offside, which is fine going up against, you know, higher quality keepers. So it never really seemed that off to me. And here in Inter-Miami, we've had no trouble. No trouble scoring goals. I haven't looked at, like, the stats. I'm not really big on sort of analyzing the stats, so maybe I'm wrong in that. Pleased with how th Am I pleased with how things are going? I don't think so. Anyway... I haven't really done any sort of proper analysis. It's just sort of the look and feel has been fine to me. So I haven't really had a problem. Uh, there's a new sort of beta patch that's gone out, which, you know, I haven't downloaded, I don't think, unless it's automatic. I haven't looked at it really because it doesn't do anything to, uh, to help us here with our MLS saves. So I haven't really bothered with it much at all. I was really hoping for some sort of nugget in there for our MLS save, because that's got to be. Here's Picot around the defense. He had no support anyway, so there's nobody for him to drop the ball off to. All right, here we go. Mendez, free kick, sends it across. Burn bomb with, oh, man, he got a head on it. We could not get it on target. Come on, boys. Let's not have it end like this. Pico has already scored one. That's fine. Coming up on the 60-minute point, Martins to Pellegrini. See what he can do. Louis sends it across. Miller is there for the defense. Orlando going to try to get another cheeky one. Pico on the run again. Behind the defense, off the post. Shaq Moore has to clear it. Wow, that could have been 2-0. Orlando trying to hit us on the counterattack, which is really how you should play against us. Nani, his shot's deflected. <sighs> Severino saved it on the touchline. It's the first time I've ever seen a save on the touchline do anything positive. He gets it to Rubinho, scores. There we go. Trusty Nani. Good defense again, but there's no defense against that. That's just... That's just a smart play by Severino. And suddenly we're down 2 0. Here we go. Let's get one in, boys. Martins sends one. Back post Vialba. Oh, he's rocketed that one into the crowd. Let's see. Are there any substitutions we can and or should make? Oof, 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 oof. All right. Um, let's see. Everybody's playing pretty poorly and or hmm. Um What's Mackenzie Gaines look like these days? He's okay. I think we might let's move the Alba to the right. Yes, yeah, move the Alba to the right. Bring in, or to the left, and bring Mackenzie uh, Gaines in on the right. Sure. Confirm. That's fine. Then let's do a shout. Let's demand more. 
70 minutes down already. We got 61% possession. Here we go, Derek. I'm going to do the goal kick for Orlando. Boots it down to the near sideline. Intercepted easily by Shaq Moore. Burnbaum's picked up a slight injury. It's fine. We got uh, we got Shinoski on the bench. He can come in just fine. Trusty Perea Pico. I think he was kept on side again by the fullback. Shoots it wide though. What does Pico look like these days? You know, he's got 11 finishing. You know, so for him to go up against our defense and our goalkeeper, it's it's not unreasonable that he wouldn't be able to finish a one-on-one. -on -one. I don't think. Here's Pico again trying to beat the defense. Johnson saves it. Shinoski clears it. You know, Sean Johnson is an excellent goalkeeper. He's, he's more highly rated. I mean, it. okay, game over. Um, but, you know, just he's more highly rated. He's got 16 reflexes, 14 one-on-ones versus Pico. Who, yeah, he's fast and he's quick, but he's only got 11 finishing, only like 10 composure. So if this guy can't beat our guy one-on-one, -on -one, I think that's fine. I don't, you know. Anyway, like I said, I haven't seen much of a problem with it, but apparently other people have. You know, maybe it's more of a problem in the bigger leagues. But I think a lot of people are just looking at, at their strikers and saying, my striker has like 18 finishing and he can't beat this goalkeeper. But maybe the goalkeeper has 18 one-on-ones. You know, they're not, maybe they're not looking at it from that angle. I know I've seen the, the stats about it saying that... Um, you know, in FM, your conversion rate is lower. But in FM, you get way more chances than you do in in regular, in real soccer. So, anyway, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'm just clicking buttons. Uh, I hope they enjoyed that press conference because I sure did. All right. Um, so, that's our first loss of the season. Congratulations. You were here to witness it. 2-0 versus our uh, in-state rival, Orlando City. Next, we got Montreal, then back to the West Coast for San Jose, and then back, we got uh, several East Coast games, and then a big friendly that I managed to sneak in there versus Ajax. Not exactly sure how or why this happened, but, like, they were available for a friendly, so I was just like, sure, why not? Let's play Ajax, get, uh, you know, boost our reputation up a little bit. Sure, why not? It's fun. Uh, let's see. What should we come back for? Should we come back for a Cincinnati game? You know, then we got doubleheader versus Chicago, maybe New York. Let's see. How many games have we played here? One, two, three, four, five, so six. So after San Jose, that'll be the seventh game. That'll be like the first quarter of the season. So we'll come back for Cincinnati. So until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.